What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. I know earlier I tried to simulcast the Doug Flutie announcement from Eric at Spirit Interactive, who's handling the publishing for what is currently Maximum Football, but will be known as Doug Flutie's Maximum Football going forward. So I'm proud to have actually Eric join me on the channel tonight. Eric, obviously a lot of people are really interested in how this came to fruition. What brought you to Doug Flutie initially in the concept of putting him into the game? You know, it was all started with just thinking who would be the best player that we could align ourselves with, right? So who's had success at all three levels of college, Canadian football, and of course, U.S. pro, you know, NFL football. And Doug Flutie was actually the first person that came to mind. And, um, you know, we, we reached out and um, were able to start discussions with Doug a couple months ago. And we're able to finally come to an agreement and um, you know, probably came to an agreement maybe about three or four weeks ago, right, right around when we started to kind of tease the announcement. So what was the initial process like? You know, obviously, was this the first player you had attempted to reach out to? Did he have a lot of interest openly in the game? You know, what was kind of like the fielding process there as that relationship started to at least initially come to fruition? Yeah, Doug was actually our first choice, um, which is pretty rare. And we kind of joke about that now. It's like, how how rare is it that you, you know, you get your first choice, right? So we, we reached out and, um, you know, we reached out through Doug's representation and, and they were, they were interested right away. Um, they had really kind of done their background research on the maximum football brand, but not, not only just maximum football, but David Winter and, you know, David's history developing games. And they knew that we actually had a product out there, um, you know, they, they knew that we could deliver on another one next year, right? Because we had, you know, Dave's obviously been building games for a long time, but he had a real recent history of Canadian football 2017, maximum football 2018. And, you know, what we were proposing is another title next year, but, you know, built around Doug's likeness. Could you talk a little bit about how this is going to position you guys, obviously very early into this relationship, but what this is going to do to help position you guys going forward in terms of building upon the game, the name recognition somebody like Doug Flutie is going to bring, and maybe what we can expect as far as changes with him now becoming involved? Yeah, a lot of it, you know, a lot of it's a conversation starter and it allows us to, it just opens up more doors, you know, be it with with outside investors or, you know, corporate sponsorships or other leagues out there. Um, you yeah, know, this allows us to have a, you know, have a little bit more, uh, you know, jump in our, our steps, so to speak. Right. So um, it, it, it just allows us to kind of further our plans with, with the franchise and just continue to build us out. And again, I know it's very early to even start to have these talks, but, has there been any discussion with him having direct involvement in the game, kind of hands-on with the way the game's mechanics are, programming logic, anything along those lines? I, I guess maybe in simpler terms, is it going to be more than just Doug Flutie's name on the box or on the game, if you will? Yeah, it's going to be a deeper relationship than that. Um, it really is a true partnership within the company. It's not. This is not just a, a one-and-done you know, likeness. Or type arrangement. Um, this is, you know, a true partnership, and and we expect, you know, from from both sides that, um, you know, we're we're going to grow the brand together. So, you know, where we need, you know, Doug, where we need to leverage Doug, you know, we're we're going to do so, um, and you know, we we expect him to to be receptive to that because he he's a partner with us. So, if you could kind of just briefly surmise how this whole thing in the last month of going through this courting process, if you will, has been not just for you, but for maximum football as well. Could you talk just a little bit about that whole process as a whole and what you really expected to get out of it and maybe things that you didn't totally maybe think would come through, but have? Well, in general, I mean, you know, we've been, you know, very happy with, with our arrangement with Doug, like everything that, everything that we wished for, you know, has, has come true. And, and, um, you know, not only with Doug, but I think in, in the past couple of months, you know, everybody's kind of seen the, the progression that we continue to make, you know, the, the spring league, um, you know, we brought on board as well. Um, probably about a month and a half ago, they'll be in the game next week. Right. 
So it's, it's just, um, you know, it's been pretty exciting and, you know, we look forward and we, and we keep joking. It's like, well, now, now we need to have another announcement in the new year, right? Cause you know, we, we, we want the community to, to expect really good things from us and, you know, special announcements. And when, and when we deliver, when we, you know, tease an announcement, we want it to be, you know, worth everybody's while. To kind of play off that, let's say you had somebody that was on the fence about maximum football, maybe saw some gameplay, some things they didn't like, weren't really sure if it's something they wanted to invest in. What would you tell them going forward they can expect, not just because of Doug Flutie's involvement, but because of the direction this game has been going in general? Yeah, I think I think the biggest takeaway is we are community members building the game. Um, you know, uh, Dave's got a history of, of building games and you know Dave's the only developer building the game there's a there's a track history there um you know for myself I've been in the community for a long time been an active member on operation sports since 2002 you know I'm, I'm just one of you guys um you know I handle uh, a lot of the sales and marketing with the company and and I like to set up uh, you know the deal structures uh, like we've seen with, with Doug in the spring league and, you know, it's, it's just exciting to be a part of, and I hope everybody's going to, you know, rally around us um, because at the end of the day, we, we all want the same thing, right? We all want more, more football video game options. So, you know, we hope, uh, you know, hope everybody will, will kind of rally around us as well because, you know, that support is just going to lead to even greater opportunities down the road. If somebody was watching this video and maybe they've got the game and there's a couple of things that they want to see change, what would be the best way you would tell them to reach out, not only to Dave, but to you? How is the best way they can get involved in being a part of that community with this game and helping make it better or maybe at least more suited to the game they want to play? Yeah, so we've got, um, you know, we're pretty accessible. So you can find us at Max Football Game on Twitter. Um, you can find us there on Instagram as well. Um, you know, when, when you send a message over that, you're, you're communicating directly with myself and with Dave. Um, so you can certainly send us a direct message or, or tweet at us. Um, but also we have a Discord set up, uh, which is pretty active. So every day there's community members providing feedback to us. And um, use an example, I mean, um, I think a couple weeks ago, you know, we had a lot of requests within Discord in particular, just about just having the helmet logos uh, added into the game now that we have the logo editor. Um, you know, that was information that I was pouring back to Dave because Dave's, you know, spending all day long coding. Um, and, then, you know, Dave was able to, you know, hear, hear that that was something that the community really wanted and, you know, was able to get that into the next content update. So, you know, a lot of mediums to, to access us on. Um, we also have a Playmaker Club as well. Uh, so for those that really, really want to get involved, and you know start helping us doing development you know before we go public with with some announcements uh certainly there's some paperwork involved and everything else but you know if you have a if if you yourself have you know like like yourself ryan you know you've got an audience um you're an influencer online um if you want to get involved in and in sharing that community with us you can you know join our playmaker club and we can set up you know more of a more more of a formal relationship, I guess, uh, to help us, you know, really reshape the game. Well, definitely appreciate everything that you have done, David has done, and obviously the most recent news and hard work that you guys have put into making this game continue to grow, not just for your own sake, but also for the community's sake, trying to get a video game back onto both consoles now, and obviously with the backing of professional players. Anything else you want to add before I let you go tonight? I just want to, you know, we just want to thank yourself and, and, and the community for, you know, continuing to, to support us. And, you know, I hope everybody's looking forward to, to uh, Doug Flutie's Maximum Football 2019, but also, you know, you can help us out by just, you know, supporting the game today. You know, we also have a Patreon and we get asked a lot of questions about the Kickstarter, but we have a Patreon as well that you can support us. And, and um, you know, you can find the game on the, the PlayStation Xbox digital stores.